the heck was that? Somebody started singing, war, huh, huh, good God, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. We're on our way to this place called Pint American Gastro something or other. Yeah. And it looks like it's going to be so tasty. And look, Jen's all gussied up for you guys. I, I am? Yeah. <laughs> I have clothes on. I don't know what gussy means. Uh, something fell on me. At least you didn't get hit in the face by a dragonfly. It was a dragonfly. Oh, all right. This is why I absolutely love Florida. Like, look at us. Yeah. This is, you saps everywhere else with your non-palm trees and sunshine. <laughs> we win. This is gonna be awesome. Except for it's gonna be really hot in like two months and we're gonna lose. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's we won't be, be doing like, this in two months. No, There's like be... no question of where we're gonna sit. Inside. Yeah, it'll be inside. <laughs> but we just got um, cheese curds. Yum, and beer. And Jen got, what did you get? Oh, I just got a Yingling because it's on Uh, wind. And then I got uh, Young's chocolate, double chocolate stout, right? Yep. Yeah. It's going to be good. And cheese curds. Real Wisconsin cheese curds at that. If you guys don't know what that is, you just wait, I'll show you. That's that double chocolate. Look at that. It looks like a super Coca Cola or something. And there's Jen's Yingling. Like, you can see the difference in colors. It's going to be awesome. We switched seats. The wind, in case you were wondering. Too, that's the only thing that I don't like about sitting outside is that it's so windy and I have like bangs so they're like, hey, hey, what's up? I like to be in your eyeballs. It's fun. You ever heard of a song by They Might Be Giants called Bangs? No. Is it like a bird cage in your soul? Sort of. It's about hair. So, like, I think. I'd have to listen to it hair. again. Yeah, like bangs. Bangs! That, my friends, is a fried cheese curd. Imagine, I guess, it's like before the cheese is really cheese, but not quite like buttery, but a little bit buttery. It's amazing is what it is. What's the red sauce? I think it's just like a red sauce, mm. like Mariner. It's really good. Mariner. Hey, thanks. Oh my gosh, that's a good looking turkey burger with this giant stack of waffle fries. And then yeah. this is what? It's called the pint burger. It's it has lamb and Angus beef, and it has uh, cucumbers and uh, I think this is Parmesan cheese. It looks like Parmesan. I'm not like 100% sure. Cucumbers, oh, um, spicy mayonnaise, chipotle mayonnaise, and um, tomatoes. Chipotle bottle. Nitrogen! This guy across the way has been playing like the slowest songs until now. Now he's playing Margaritaville, but he played like Hearts and Thoughts by Pearl Jam, and then like uh, Get Along with a Little Help from My Friends by. Uh, What's his name? What? Who's the drummer for the Beatles? Ringo. Ringo Starr. I feel like a noodle for not remembering that. Noodle. Noodle. This guy's terrible at his job. He's singing Burning Ring of Fire, a, a song about being addicted to drugs. What, what did he sing before this? I thought it was about like when the bear rides a tricycle through the fire ring. That's exactly what it's about. So then it's the best song ever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I take it back. What did he sing before this, though? Um, Garth oh, Brooks. Garth Brooks, the dance. Seriously, do you want everybody in the audience to like be like, "All right, well, we'll just go home and kill ourselves now. It's cool." Why would you kill? Like, <laughs> do you hate Garth Brooks so much that you no, want to kill yourself? No, Garth Brooks is totally awesome, but the dance. No, you is know like, better though. Is Chris? What was his name? Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Remember when he had his like alter ego? Oh, what was Garth Brooks' alter ego? It wasn't Chris Evans. <laughs> I want to say Chris Angel. It was, it was Chris. I'm going to look it up. Hey, you've got to hide your love away. Oh, we I just saw. Car steering went out again. Oh, God, this car. It didn't. We just saw a Maserati go by. Just so you guys know, I want you to imagine this a house, probably in every single place that you guys live. Like, this way it is here. The only place that it isn't like this is like Miami and the, like, the super rich parts of here. Uh, every most houses around 150,000. We just saw a Maserati go by. That car costs $150,000. How ridiculous is that? That you're like, I would like to spend the amount that I would spend on a house on this car, <laughs> Jeeves. I know you guys can't see it, but it's like right there. This motorcycle next to us just turned off for a second. That's really funny. All right, kids, you're too darn spoiled. If you have your own Hello Kitty microwave and Hello Kitty tiny refrigerator. Look, this is like my hand, right? Yeah, how do I open it? How, like how come I, t I like told you how to open it, but I can't open it? I can't even like put my hand in here hardly. That's for like one soda. And I don't even think a soda would fit in here. You'd have to take this yeah, out. Yeah, you take the shelf out and you put like one and a, one and a half beers in there for your 12 year old daughter. <laughs> no. 
And then she also makes but Hello Kitty have pancakes. That, that's kind of weird, a Hello Kitty rice cooker. <laughs> yeah, that might be a little, like, tiny bit racist. <laughs> Hello Kitty toaster oven, handheld mixer, cupcake maker. That makes sense. That's the only thing here that makes sense is a Hello Kitty cupcake maker. Oh. What is that thing? A Hello Kitty water dispenser? A Hello wow. Kitty vacuum? This is like Bubble your little Hello Kitty office. Uh, that's like the little look, thing in your office. They have a Hello Kitty cotton candy maker. We have one of those. What the heck, man? If you're gonna buy your kid a, re a $49 refrigerator, you might as well go with like an actual refrigerator that only costs $49. How much are these? $149. All right, never mind. Get your kid the Hello Kitty microwave refrigerator. But that that's the thing. Be a brat. It only it warms and cools. It's a Hello Kitty microwave refrigerator. It's it like a washer dryer. Cans. How does this hold six cans? Six cans of what? Tiny sodas, those little like half sodas. 12, 12 ounce cans. That's that's a normal sized can, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, I chugged 12 ounces the other day. Microwaves. Hey Jen. What? Can I get you or can I give okay. you a Dutch oven? Uh, no. <laughs> Dutch oven. It's my weekend. And I'm sitting on the couch and Jen got some great earrings for five dollars. Well, it was an earring and, and necklace set. And a necklace set for just five dollars. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Wait, I have to get it. I want to come taking out. taking so long to do this. At oh. least there's interesting singing. Did you break it? No. Oh, I was going to say. We just spent $4.99 on that. That's so cute. Hold it up so that they can see it before you put it on. Hold on. All right, they'll hold on. Oh, it's so nice. I love birds. I love birds. 2362 is see? your new YouTube account. That's so nice with the earrings. Turn your head sideways. Oh, look, they match so perfectly because birds love flowers. Yeah, birds and the bees. I mean, birds and the flowers. Yeah. We're gonna watch this movie called Melancholia. It's about uh, this girl that gets married and then Earth collides with another planet. Sounds like fun, right? Wee! He fell asleep watching Bones. I'm like, we're gonna stay up! The, the movie that we watched was ridiculous, by the way. Uh, if you get the chance to watch it... Uh, I mean, Claire Danes is naked in it. Who is that? Kirsten Dunst is naked in it. There's that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.